Stop it. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm watching a bit from Kevin the Skull Anderson. <laughs> it's called Spot the Liberal New Episode Live. Huh. I think that's gonna be my new intro intro from now on. Pretty cool, huh? Guess what? You came to the right place. <laughs> ah! You're a fucking ah! Alright, so let me get this straight. For the last nine months, Joe Biden couldn't fill up a high school gymnasium, but all of a sudden he has over 75 million supporters. Somebody explain to me how the hell that's possible. No, seriously, I want to know. Because I don't believe it for a minute. I'm going to tell you that now. And you shouldn't either. You know why? Because voter fraud. Because corruption. That's all the Democrats know. That's all they've done throughout their entire existence. Oh, by the way, welcome to Spot the Liberal. The election software system in Michigan that switched 6,000 votes from Trump to Biden is called, this is from Kyle Becker, by the way, Dominion. That is the election software system that has been screwing up our votes for at least 20 years. It's called Dominion. Now, in case you don't know what Dominion is, it's an electoral rigging system. It's not necessarily as much a software system as much as it does rig votes in favor of the Democrat that's running for president, <clears throat> Joe Biden. Not that that means anything, but who really gives a damn at this point? Okay, so the election software system, Dominion, is used right now is being used in 30 states, including Nevada, Arizona, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, and, wait for it, wait for it, Pennsylvania. Every single damn one of them. Every last one of them. All the swing states and about 23 other states, too. If that is not the biggest case of electoral fraud in the history of the world, then quite frankly, I don't know what the hell is anymore. Because, I mean, you, you'd you have to be stupid to not believe that this is going on right under your nose. Because, ah, who the hell am I kidding? You, you, you liberals out there will believe anything. You will believe that a dementia-suffering pedophile who can't even fill up a coffee shop is capable president, but anyway, well, hell, I think I just pissed off a bunch of libs, fuck it, who cares, let's just, let's just move on, okay, Kristen Amo Rowan, from Stop the Steal, have any votes been certified, no, has any litigation reached a conclusion, no, does the media have any authority to call an election, no, is Joe Biden your president, not only no, but hell no. Oh, by the way, I should mention, it's worth pointing out, and keep get used to me saying, by the way, I should mention a lot, because I'm going to say that a lot in this episode, in case you're wondering why I'm saying it right now. But here is the deal, right? This election is far from over. It's, it's not even close to being over yet. Especially since Trump watermarked 14 million ballots and organized a sting operation to expose the Democrats for the frauds that they are. Moving on. Jamie Lee says, Fellow patriots, I know you're hurting, but please stop panicking right now. If this is too much for you, turn off social media and the news and get centered. All of this was known well in advance, we know why they changed voting laws and pushed for mail-in ballots. You can't tell people there's corruption. You must show them. 
Trump will fight and the truth will be revealed. This is psychological warfare. Do not surrender to it. You've got to have a little bit of faith. You understand? You guys have got to have a little bit of faith. Remember, I mean, there was, there was this, this guy named Al Gore who came up with this movie called An Inconvenient Truth, followed by another sequel called An Inconvenient Sequel, or whatever the hell that was. Basically, he's an advocate for climate change, or whatever this, this falsehood is that's going on right now. But he ran like 20 years ago, right? The guy lost because of something that happened 37 days after Election Day. This happened in the middle of December, close to the start of winter. By the way, doesn't everyone remember the saying that president made months ago that there would be massive voter fraud with melon ballots and a scandal of the century? Guess what, people? You don't want to believe it. You don't want to say it's true. But deep down, you know and I know he's right. There was massive voter fraud with mail-in ballots. There was a scandal of the century. And it's happening right now under your noses. He knew their plan and he prepared months and months and months and months in advance. We're talking five years, literally at the start of his presidential campaign in 2015, when he came down that elevator, right? Literally from that moment, he knew he was going to have an uphill battle. So he planned like five steps ahead of everybody else, because that's how good he is as president. He's a man that thinks before he speaks, that does something when he says he's going to do it, by the way, nobody in Congress that's a Democrat ever does that. Newsweek, 1979, George Soros said at that point that he hates America and all the people living in it. Well, you know what? He's made it his mission ever since then to destroy this country, and although he thinks it's working, his old senile mind says that his mind's going to fail him one day. Newsmax, by the way, made a statement. At this time, Newsmax is not calling Joe Biden the winner. The election remains very close, and President Trump continues to context results in several states, including Pennsylvania. All votes should be counted. The media should not make the determination of the winner under these circumstances. It's common freaking sense. If you are that irresponsible and that dumb... To not realize that all votes should be counted, except for the ones that are counted after Election Day, which should not be counted, and rendered illegitimate and void. And if you don't realize that the media should not make the determination of the winner under any circumstances that are given in this particular situation, then you are about as much of an idiot as, say... Al Gore, the same Al Gore I mentioned earlier that ran 20 years ago. They thought he won at that point. And it took 37 days for them to finally render a verdict in favor of George W. Bush, who, by the way, was a very terrible president that really wasn't going to do anything anyway. He was just another Mitt Romney, another John McCain. Al Gore, and we'll never know this, could have been the potential to be another JFK, but he wasn't really elected, right? Oh, by the way, I should mention, according to Elvin Kilgore, Evan Kilgore says that Twitter is literally suspending accounts of people that share videos of legitimate, legitimate voter fraud. That's why I'm not going back to Twitter, folks, because Twitter is a shitter. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's run by a jackass horsey named Jack Dorsey. You said that right, right? I mean, you heard it, didn't you? Mm. But yeah, I'm not going back to Twitter because Twitter is a hellhole that, quite frankly, nobody should be a part of anyway. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm shocked, really, that that people don't just abandon Twitter and Facebook right this minute because of what Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey are doing to sell them out. Also, 
A complaint has been filed against the University of Pennsylvania and Biden Center for undisclosed mega donations from da, 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 China. China. Of all the countries that had to donate to Joe Biden's campaign, China had to be the one to do it, right? This proves voter fraud and that China colluded with Biden in this election. That proves it. If you if you check out the Facebook post, you will see it. You just got to look hard and long for it. Oh, the U.S. postal worker that was caught in a Canadian border with stolen balance in a car trunk, according to Breaking911.com, has been arrested for voter fraud, for tampering with election results. People, you gotta hear me out, alright? This is a big deal. You've got a dementia-suffering pedophile that has been in Washington for almost 50 years that has done nothing that has done jack shit for anybody that he supposedly works for, meaning us, the people that were stupid and naive enough to let them 47, 48 years ago. That's beside the point. The point I'm trying to make is Joe Biden is getting caught and soon enough, Amy Coney Barrett will see to it. After all, you can't put a crown on a clown and expect a king. Think back to Andrew Jackson. Think back to Herbert Hoover. Think back to FDR. Think back to Barack Obama. Think back to Nixon. Think back to Lyndon Baines Johnson. You know, LBJ, the guy that promoted this so-called great society when in reality it was the biggest mistake at that time that could have been made and a pretty bad one at that not even a good one but a bad one I'm gonna let me just explain something to you okay there's an old saying that goes if you know you're up to no good don't hide. If you don't want to know that you're no good, hide. Or something like that. I don't know exactly how it goes, but anyway, we're going to keep going with this gravy train now. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, for those of you keeping score, this is not the official election tally. This is the official election tally, courtesy of Samuel Holmes. All right, so a fellow Trumper, a fellow Trumper found this on 4chan, anonymous, right? November the 5th, 2020 on a Thursday, 12, 19 p.m. or is it a.m.? But anyway, this person proves that there is election fraud going on. This person says, I realized how to prove ballot fraud, not just statistically, but forensically. Every piece of mail is photographed in a program called Mail Covers ever since the 2001 anthrax attacks. So we know how many ballots were mailed out to whom and when they arrived. We also know how many were mailed back. If this database were cross-referenced with ballot counts in state secretaries of state records, you would find out everything. If this database were cross-referenced, and if they fell off the back of a truck, there wouldn't be photographic records. Oh, by the way, the Trump administration, together with Rudy Giuliani, have already unveiled 20,000 fraudulent ballots in Philadelphia so far. And that's just one city. They vowed to dismember, uncover, and legally challenge all election results nationwide, beginning with Pennsylvania, beginning with Michigan, beginning with Wisconsin, until all levels of corruption have been exposed and dissolved expect myriad flips before january 20th according to rudy giuliani this is a concerted effort of corruption by the crooks who run the democratic party and you know what to be quite honest with you i believe him 
I should know. You know? I mean, seriously. But, I mean, in all seriousness, you've got to imagine. Imagine being so hopelessly dumb that you think the guy in office for four years is the problem and the guy for 47 years that's been in office is the solution. I mean, can you imagine how hopeless someone would have to be to be that stupid? I'm sorry. I just don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Trump has been in office for four years never held an electoral position in his life prior to his run in 2015 and 16, and he's done a better job than all these crooks in Washington put together. It's, it's really sad. It's really sad. And it is just absolutely frustrating to me, and I really don't understand, I really don't understand why it's had to come to this. By the way, by the way, I should mention, all of you who are panic buying, you better make sure you stock up on your condoms so you don't breed anymore, you freaking idiots. I'm serious. And I'm talking to you, Democrats who voted for Biden. I'm talking to you. Because you knew what was going on. You did nothing about it. We, the Republican Party, had to do it for you. The Republican voters who voted for Trump, we had to do that for you. So let's get that right, huh? I mean, seriously, you got to... You got to be dumb to think that a man who can't even fill up a coffee shop can beat a guy who fills and sells out arenas full of people in seconds. I'm sorry, you just, you can't buy that. You cannot in hell buy that. There is absolutely no way. I'm sorry. It's absolute bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. This is, I mean, by the way, this is why we have condoms. This is why we have condoms. To prevent people from being born and brainwashed so badly that they vote for a Democrat. Any Democrat, for that matter. Because all of them are corrupt. Every last one of them. And I think you know it, and I know that I know it. I should also mention, there is no democracy anymore. It's an idiocracy now. See, we voters don't have a say unless we gather in great numbers to turn the tide for the greater good. That's why, when sh like this happens, we call it as we see it and pray to God that the Supreme Court agrees with us. If they don't agree with us this time, however, then America will become a dictatorship led by a bunch of elderly morons who, instead of telling us what we need to know, will always lie to us and tell us what they think we need to know. Think back to Stalin, Hitler, Obama, Vlad the Impaler, North Korea, Maduro, Andrew Jackson. Socialism has been experimented in this nation at least twice. And in each scenario, the end result was people lining up to pay an arm and a leg for bread. Not very good, is it? Now, if Biden and the Democrats get away with it this time, like they did in 2008, 2012, and 2016, then we'll all end up like Venezuela, who, by the way, its citizens are all eating out of expired food from trash bags. So it's time to fight for our future, it's time to risk our lives for our future, it's time to awaken and work for our future, because money doesn't grow on trees, there's no such thing as free money. And if those things are done, we can reclaim our future. That's the only way it's going to happen. If we work hard for it, if we awaken to the truth for what it really is, and if we fight for our future and risk our lives for it and lay down our lives for it, we'll be the heroes of history. Remember, this isn't just this country we're talking about. We're talking about the whole damn world. So just keep that in mind. Also, from the Trump-Pence campaign, an official statement from President Donald John Trump, November 7th, 2020. We all know why Joe Biden is rushing to falsely pose as the winner and why his media allies are trying so hard to help him. They don't want the truth to be exposed. The simple fact is this election is far from over. Joe Biden has not been certified as the winner of any states, let alone any of the highly contested states headed for mandatory recounts 
or states where our campaign has valid and legitimate legal challenges that could determine the ultimate winner. In Pennsylvania, for example, in Pennsylvania, legal observers were not permitted meaningful access to watch the counting process. Legal votes decide who is president, not the news media. He also goes on to say, he goes on to say, beginning Monday, our campaign will start prosecuting our case in court to ensure election laws are fully upheld and the rightful winner is seated. The American people are entitled to an honest election. That means counting all legal ballots and not counting any illegal ballots. This is the only way to ensure the public has full confidence in our election. It remains shocking that the Biden campaign refuses to agree with this basic principle and wants ballots counted even if they are fraudulent, manufactured, or cast by illegal or deceased voters. Only a party engaged in wrongdoing would unlawfully keep observers out of the courtroom and then fight in court to block their access. So what is Biden hiding? What is he hiding? I will not rest until the American people have the honest vote count they deserve and that democracy demands. I should also point out, Jim Johnson says, and this is fact, that Trump won in a landslide. It's a massive voter fraud case throughout the country which will be filed 9 a.m. Monday morning in federal court. Thank Christ we have a constitution and thousands of hours of video of voter fraud, video and testimony from over a hundred witnesses. And this is just in Pennsylvania, the ground zero of the profession voter fraud machine and also the birthplace of this country has been many of those are lawyers. It's just Trump doesn't mess around, neither do his followers. And you know what? The media doesn't remember that. They think we're stupid. They think we're retarded. You remember? You remember when the media said that we All were right, retarded? All right, now, here's the when deal, the FBI right? said that we were retarded. You remember that? They also I'm not think a they are now in control of the election over all. the court system. I can call I hate elections. The guy. He is corrupt, he's a liar, he's a cheat, he's a stealer, he suffers from dementia, and in my honest opinion, is a pedophile, and has done nothing. He's done nothing to improve anything in almost 50 years as a politician. I believe that Joe Biden is the stepping stone for Kamala Harris to take over the White House, and that Nancy Pelosi is already trying to put a 25th Amendment in place to remove an unfit president. I don't think that has a thing to do with Trump having COVID. I think that's to remove Biden if elected for dementia and Harris to take over. This is my opinion, so don't bother to bash it. I haven't bashed yours. Now listen carefully. Because you're gonna, you're gonna wanna listen to this. And just stick with me for the next nine minutes. Just bear with me. The clown in the White House just brokered two Middle East peace accords something that over seven decades of political intervention and endless war constantly and irreversibly failed to produce. The clown in the White House is the first president that has not engaged us in a foreign war since Dwight D. Eisenhower. The clown in the White House has had the greatest impact on the economy, bringing jobs and lowering unemployment to the black and Latino population of any other president in American history ever. Ever! Think about that when you consider the results, okay? Because, I mean, seriously though, you, you gotta hear me out when I say this, okay? Listen up. The buffoon in the White House has exposed the deep, widespread, and long-standing corruption in the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Central Ignorance Agency, the National Security Administration, and the Republican and Democratic parties. The buffoon in the White House turned NATO around the North American Treaty Organization, as I think it is, 
and have them start paying their dues. The clown in the White House neutralized the North Koreans, stopped them from developing a further nuclear capability, sending missiles towards Japan, and threatening the West Coast of the United States of America. Now, if that weren't crazy enough, if that weren't crazy enough, it gets crazier from here. This is, this is just part of what he's accomplished. He's turned our relationship with the Chinese around, brought hundreds if not thousands of businesses back to the United States, and practically revived the economy. Wake up! You guys need to listen. The clown in the White House has accomplished the appointing of three Supreme Court justices and close to 300 federal judges. This same clown in the White House lowered your taxes, increased the standard deduction on your IRS return from $12,500 for marriage filing joint to $24,500 and caused your stock market to move to record levels over 100 times, positively impacting the retirements of tens of millions of citizens. If that weren't crazy enough, the clown in the White House fast-tracked the development of a COVID vaccine, which will be available within a matter of weeks. We're still far from having a vaccine for SARS, bird flu, Ebola, or a host of other diseases that arose during previous administrations. The clown in the White House rebuilt our military, which the Obama administration had crippled and had fired 214 key generals and admirals in his first year of office. The clown in the White House uncovered widespread pedophilia in the government and in Hollywood, and as we speak right now, is exposing worldwide sex trafficking of minors and bringing children home to their families. Here's what else he's accomplished. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. The clown in the White House works for free and has lost well over $2 billion of his own money, his own money, in serving. And done all of this and much more in the face of relentless undermining and opposition from people who are threatened because they know they are going to be exposed as the criminals that they are if he is reelected. Now, I understand that you don't like him. I get it. Many of you utterly despise and hate the man. How special are you? He is serving you and working for you and all the American people. What are you jackasses doing besides calling him names and laughing about him catching the damn China virus? And please educate me again as to what Biden has accomplished for America in his nearly 50 years of office. Tell me. Because I, I really want to know. Because I, I guarantee you, you can't name one thing. Oh, by the way, by the way, I'll take a clown any day versus a fork-tongued, smooth-talking, hypocritical, corrupt liar. Please let it be known, I am not sure I would want to have a beer with him, or a soda, or a coffee, if he drank any of those, or even be his friend. I don't give a damn if I don't like him. I want a strong leader who isn't afraid to kick some ass and take some names when needed. I don't need a fatherly figure, I already have one. I don't need a liar, that's what Hollywood and CNN, MSNBC, ABC, NBC, and CBS and the New York Times are for. I don't need someone to help me, but I don't want an obstacle or dimension suffering, senile, pedophilia driven, washed up swamp monster. God bless President Donald John Trump Jr., the most unappreciated president of all time. From Kevin Olson. He says, Long story, underground news or whatever, but Trump got rid of election agency and turned it over to Homeland Security. They watermarked secretly 14 million ballots. Now found then all Biden ballots. They have been caught and soon it will hit the fan. He said Trump has won. Now Kevin Olson's kid is all about conspiracies, but 
His kid is confident. Even a child knows that this is voter fraud. Even a fucking child knows that this is voter fraud. And here's, here's the interesting part, right? Here's the interesting part. Here's what's so funny to me about all this. You have at least 70 million dumbasses that voted for this ignorant old fuck. That's the sad part. Oh, by the way, if anyone tells me I have to wear a mask in public, this is a legal notice of my religious immunity for a mandatory face mask covering policy or mandate attempting to be imposed upon me at your place of public accommodation. Per Title II of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, passed on Tuesday, the 7th day of January, 1964. All persons shall be entitled to be free at any establishment or place from discrimination or segregation of any kind on the ground of race, color, religion, or national origin, if such administration or segregation is on purpose to be required by any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, rule, or order of a state or any agency or political subdivision thereof. Right? Right. Also see section 203 of the same thing. By the way, Michigan, Michigan has more votes than people registered. Huh. I wonder what that means. Does that mean there is voter fraud? You're damn right that's what it means. It means there's voter fraud going on there and you know it. And you wonder why Joe Biden is this close, this close to stealing the presidency of the United States. And by the way, if he's going to be elected president, he's going to turn the presidency into a laughing stock. I just know it, because that's exactly what these Democrats do. That's exactly what these fucks do. They make the government look like the laughing stock of the world. The American government is the laughing stock of the world now. And you wonder why I always vote straight Republican and have for the last four years. I'm going to conclude following that Roy Cooper is a non-essential worker. He Actually, he's not a worker at all. It's more like he's how you say, a shill for socialism. And with that said, I thank you all for watching this episode of Spot the Liberal. There's going to be another episode to come, folks. Season 6 finale is coming soon, so till then, you better stay tuned. See you on social media. Bye. This is a Skull Media Production.